programs. We're investing in those who have a passion to take the message of Jesus Christ to all the parts of the world. They'll make you work really hard, <laughs> but you'll grow. That's what I would tell them. You would grow a lot and you would be challenged a lot. The biggest thing about CIU is how important it is for them to make sure that we know God through scripture and that we have the tools to make him known. Hi, I'm George Murray, the Chancellor of Columbia International University. I graduated from Columbia Bible College in 1967. Quite a bit has changed since then, but one thing has remained constant, and that's the clear focus of Columbia International University. That unchanging focus has led us to articulate five core values that shape everything we do here at CIU. Our first core value is the authority of Scripture. God inspired human writers to give us His Word. Here at CIU, we're committed to accurately understanding what the Bible says and then applying that to every aspect of our lives. You have to have a deep, intimate prayer life to work with these guys, and you've got to, you've got to know and handle the Word of God. They respect nothing I have outside of the Word of God. It was obvious to me from the way the professors handled scripture. But they held this book in great reverence. Our second core value is what we call victorious Christian living. God's word says, if God's son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. It's living the Christian life, not in your own strength, but in the Lord's strength. That's what marked my life and really changed my Christian experience from kind of a church going, person to really have a vibrant relationship with Christ. CIU's third core value is world evangelization. We believe that when Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone everywhere, that that's exactly what he meant. Today, CIU graduates are serving the Lord in 130 countries around the world. And it's our aim that all CIU graduates will have a great commission heart, whether they go into the marketplace or into ministry here in North America, or into cross-cultural missionary service around the world. I hope to change the lives of my future students, um, and that they would grow in their relationship with the Lord and come to know the Lord. If I could in some way help the, the least of these and the oppressed and the hurting around the world, my life will be worth it. Our fourth core value is what we call prayer and faith. CIU was raised up by God in response to a group of praying, believing people. At CIU, prayer isn't just something we talk about. Prayer is something we do as an act of faith and dependence upon God. College um, funds and things like that were on me to, to come up with. And God providing that money through that scholarship was just um, an example of his faithfulness. I guess my most uh, vivid memories are when I was a boy in the 30s and they were buying the downtown property, the square block that had been Columbia Seminary, and we used it for the men's dormitory. And I was just a kid, but I get excited every Thanksgiving as the bank note would come due, and at the last minute we might be, you know, $5,000 short, 5322 and often it would come in to the penny. Our final core value here at CIU is what we call evangelical unity. Both in attitude and in practice, we join hands across denominational and theological lines. When I came to know Christ personally, I didn't know the difference between a Baptist and a Methodist. I, mean, I had no clue. And I thought that that was a disadvantage, but I now know it as an advantage. The core of the gospel is what we're going to gather around and center our training on and be able to provide the greatest number of churches and, and ministries, uh, Christ-centered training under the authority of the scripture. Here at CIU, 
We constantly think about Earth's 6.5 billion people. We think about the fact that nine out of every 10 living in the world today are lost and outside of personal faith in Jesus Christ. We think about the fact that two out of every three have never once heard a clear explanation of the gospel. And we think about the fact that one out of every three people living in the world has no true believer living close enough to tell them about Jesus, even if they want to hear. In obedience to Christ's command to disciple the nations, it's our deep desire that every man, woman, boy or girl living anywhere in the world has a chance to hear, understand, and respond to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I invite you to join us here at Columbia International University as we seek to know Christ and to make him known.